Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I want to take you through the 333 rule that's been going around on TikTok and trying it out with some of my own clothes. The 333 rule, I'll leave a few TikToks on the screen so you can kind of get an idea. It's essentially three tops, three bottoms, and three pairs of shoes to create as many outfits as you possibly can. It's not Project 333, the 33 items for three month challenge by Courtney Carver. I've done one of those before too. I will definitely do one again, but I do like the TikTok version of 333 because for me, it's just really a way to see the potential in your own clothes, whether they are new clothes that you just bought and you need some ideas on how to style them or your old clothes. So I'll be taking a total of nine items, three tops, three bottoms, and three pairs of shoes, and then seeing how many fits I can come up with. And before we get into the pieces, I just wanna take a second to thank the sponsor of today's video, Cotton. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I have worked with them many times before and they are one of my favorite brands, especially when it comes to well-made, well-constructed and ethically made pieces. They're a certified B Corp voted best in the world. That's amazing. And they got the fourth highest B impact score when it comes to apparel brands in North America. They did send me a few pieces from their fall and winter collection that I'll be styling in my little mini capsule wardrobe. So if you're looking for something for yourself, I think that's great, but they also make amazing gifts. A lot of their clothes is unisex, so you can shop for really anybody. They do the best socks. Everyone in my family is going to be getting a pair of socks. The other thing that Cotton does so well are their hoodies. Jeff actually took my black hoodie that I have from them, and I'm sure he's going to be borrowing this one from me as well. And they have a lot of really awesome accessories like scarves and homeware. So thank you so much to Cotton as always for sponsoring today's video and supporting the channel. And definitely check them out, especially if you're looking for some gift ideas. All right, so breaking down the nine items that we're going to try to style today, I'm sorry, there's gonna be a lot of black because I love black, but you can add whatever color, whatever texture, anything you want. I'm looking at my rail and uh, yeah, there's a lot of black. <laughs> so for tops, I'm just gonna be starting with this long sleeve crew neck t-shirt. This is from Cotton. It's very nice and breathable and I like that it's a bit form fitting so it'll layer nicely under things. Next is this really cool asymmetrical vest. I could not resist when I saw this on Cotton's website. They have it in a lot of really interesting colors. It honestly almost feels like loungewear, but it still looks really elevated. So I think this is a really cool piece that I can dress up and dress down in this mini capsule. And I can never really do without a layering piece. So I'm going to be styling this mint green blazer. It's a really nice sort of slim fitting blazer, but it has this really interesting cutout at the elbow, which for me actually really lends itself to a lot more versatility. And the fact that it's slim, I think I can get a little bit creative with some of the fits here and see what I can come up with. And this is going to be my pop of color, so please enjoy. For my next set of bottoms, I am going to be throwing in a pair of jeans. These are the cotton anti-fit denim. They are a unisex pair of jeans and they're meant to be worn a little bit more relaxed, which I really like. I tend to have bigger hips and butts, so I like the sort of barrel leg of these pants, but they also fit a little bit more high rise. So you still get that really interesting shape and silhouette with them. And then finally, we're leaning into skirts. I told you I wanna wear more skirts this year. So I'm going to be including this long silk skirt. This was in my fall capsule wardrobe. I am taking it with me into winter. So stay tuned for my full winter capsule wardrobe coming soon. If you layer properly, I think it doesn't need to be limited to just the warm weather. So we're going to be rocking it here. And in terms of footwear, we're just going Really, really simple. I'm just gonna do a pair of white sneakers, a pair of black boots. I think black boots just really go with anything. And I'm gonna throw in these white pointed toe mules to add some more elevation to some of these looks, make them a little bit more dressy. And I love the idea of a pointed toe to just continue to lengthen your leg. So that is how I'm going to be using these shoes as a tool when I make my outfits. Oh, and when it comes to accessories, I don't think they really count in this wardrobe. So I'm going to be including one belt and one purse. All right, let's do it. All right, all right, all right. So this is the very first look. Obviously, it's me. I'm going to go for an all black everything moment. And I just decided to go in and add a bit of pop of this is not color. This is white of the white pointed toe sling back heels. And then I had the cream sort of off white bag. So we're going for a real like monochromatic moment. This is very simple to me, very 90s, just a super easy look to start off with. 
And then I'm just going to throw on my green blazer. This is my pop of color. Please be proud of me. If you've been following me for a long time, you know I don't really wear color. This year we've been venturing out into it. But this blazer is super cool. It's one of my favorites. And I think, okay, I just wanna get into it now. I feel like the theme that you're going to see in this capsule is just switching out certain pieces like layering pieces and shoes to create different looks. So I know I foresee it. I'm going to get some comments being like, well, all you did was change the shoe, but yeah, but that's going to change the outfit. It can change the vibe. I had a white shoe on and now in this look, I have the black shoe. And you know what? It's not groundbreaking work, but getting dressed doesn't need to be. So by switching out the white shoe for the black shoe, I feel like it just gave me a little bit more elongation and just sort of toned down the look a bit so that the green wasn't competing with the white. I like it. This look, I just decided to throw on the vest as a layering piece. So we're going all black everything. And then very easily, we'll just throw on the layering piece over top. And then I just decided to take off the long sleeve t-shirt and did this whole, I call it my like Bon Jovi moment with the vest going sleeveless. Uh, if you are in the warmer weather, maybe you can consider rocking this and I think it's a really cool minimalist outfit. Okay, look number seven, I just switched out the pair of black jeans for a pair of longer line blue jeans. It just makes the look a little bit more casual this way. And then I just have the white slingbacks to create some more elongation in the legs. I feel like my legs look a mile long with this look. And then I just wanted to throw in the blazer because it's just so fun, so easy, such a cool pop of color. And now I'm changing the formality of the look by switching out the shoes. So I had the pointed toe heel and now I have the sneaker. It just makes it a lot more of a casual vibe. And now we have the skirt. So switching out the jeans for the skirt, you can immediately see how much more formal and feminine this outfit has become, which I really like. I'm gonna do a little bit of contrast dressing here. So when you feel a certain way in an outfit, like maybe a little bit too dressed up or too feminine, just think of what the opposite word would be and just think of what immediately comes to mind. There's no right or wrong here. So for me, if I'm feeling very feminine, I might think of masculine. If I'm feeling very dressed up, I might think of casual or sporty so I'm going to lean into that by just switching out the shoe from a heel for a sneaker and this immediately makes this look feel more casual and weekend I just took the outfit from casual to more dressed up by adding the black boot this time so it's more of a monochromatic look with a pop of color and you can see here how the vibe really changes when you just change one element and a shoe is a very powerful tool to do that I almost feel like I did this look already, but I didn't because I did the white shoe with this outfit, then I did the sneaker, and now we're just missing the boots. So we're playing like, we're doing math here. Permutations, combinations, does anyone remember that from math class? So you have really a lot of possibilities out of a very small amount of clothing. Jove just making little swaps here and there. And then here, this feels very like, Kate Moss, Gwyneth Paltrow from the 90s with that long sleeve crew neck t-shirt, the long maxi skirt and the black boot. This is just my minimalist nod to the 90s. I love this outfit. And then I just threw on the layering piece. Again, different outfit. We went from monochrome to pop of color. It's fun. Have fun with your clothes. So with the previous look, I had all black everything from head to toe, and now we're doing all black with that pop of white. So this is just some fun contrast dressing in terms of the color going monochrome. And then I just decided to throw on the vest and leave it open for an interesting layering piece just to add some dimension to this look a little bit more. Now let's take this look casual again. So we were doing the boots, we were doing the heels. Let's do the sneakers. It just immediately makes it really a lot more casual. It turns it into like a weekend wear, going for coffee. So for these next few looks, I just decided to see how far the blazer on its own could take me. And I really like the sort of scandalous deep V situation that's going on over here. I felt like the sleeves rolled down was a little bit too much, so I just pushed them up to show a little bit more skin. But if I were to rock this for real, I would wear like a lacy bra underneath that I didn't mind peeping through. Or I would do something like a safety pin just to keep a wardrobe malfunction from happening. Look, I know some of you are really gonna hate this, but I just really wanted to try it. And when it comes to playing with your clothes, playing dress up, it's about having fun and being creative. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but at least you can say you tried. So here I just decided to try to throw on the blazer backwards. 
I actually saw a stylist do this once in the Tibby style class and I thought it looked really cool. But to be honest, I think it would work better if the blazer were darker because I was having a little bit of trouble with bunching around the armpits because of the shoulder pads. So if this blazer was black or navy, I think it would pull off a little bit better. But at least I can say I tried. And for this look, I just tried to create something a little bit more sculptural with the blazer. You don't really have to be limited to how the blazer it buttons up. For example, just throw on a belt and see if you can create a bit more shape with this. I still feel like I needed a bit more finessing, but you kind of get the idea. And with these next few looks, you know, it's just kind of the same thing, but again, switching out the shoe back with the black jeans, which I think are great for a more crop look. And you can just see the difference here. The white, green, and black versus black on black and green, it makes a difference. And so to me, it's a different outfit. And then we're back to the blue jeans. I love this outfit. It's such a minimalist, cool outfit. I just, you know, you can't go wrong with a pair of blue jeans, simple black top and boots. And then again, just decided to throw on that vest for some more layering. And finally, I think this is the final look. I can't believe we got 26 looks out of here, but also because this blazer has that interesting cutout, it creates an opportunity for a completely different outfit. But be advised, if you do this, I just wouldn't eat soup because your sleeve is just gonna get dipped in there. So that's it for the 333 mini capsule wardrobe challenge. I really feel like I could have come up with more, but I was starting to get really like sweaty and that whole situation. But let me know if you try this. Again, I think this is a really great way to just reignite some creativity and potential in your own wardrobe with the clothes you already have, or you can use it as a challenge to teach yourself to style new pieces that we brought in. Cause cost per wear is really the only form of girl math I support. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye.